Well, we certainly wouldn't be surprised to see some more profit taking in the tech sector. That said, we think the COVID-19 trends that have favored technology throughout the, this uh, rebound from March are likely to continue, not unabated, not in some sort of vertical manner the way they have been over the last several months. But we don't think that uh, the technology sector as a whole is overvalued, even though some names inside of it may be. But we do continue to think that uh, the trend that has favored technology companies that can capitalize on what's going on in the lockdown phases, shutdown phases, is likely to persist. We also think that the overfocus on technology, just in terms of the momentum and uh, the velocity of money pouring into technology names, has really meant that there are vast areas of the U.S. market, the global marketplace, that are being completely overlooked, undervalued, and uh, underappreciated. So for long-term investors, uh, if you can take your eye off the tech ball and really begin to analyze where some great bargains at deeply discounted uh, prices exist, you're going to be able to build wealth over time, although certainly not in the next month or two. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, Jim, we had a guest yesterday on the show, uh, Jonathan Payne, who said that there could be another 10% in the offing by way of downside sell-off uh, for techs, uh, in addition to the 10% that we've seen thus far on the NASDAQ. Uh, do you think that is pretty much a very realistic scenario, uh, given the kind of momentum that we're seeing on profit-taking in these stocks? It certainly could be. Uh, you know, as we wend our way through to the U.S. election, and we assume that it's going to be contested no matter who wins, uh, there's going to be a lot of uncertainty in addition to the pall of the coronavirus uncertainty that's already sort of cast across not just our markets, but the global markets. So uh, technology could uh, be the epicenter of some fear, fear-driven selling. The same kind of momentum that drove people into it could drive them out of it. That said, writ large and certainly thinking long term, everything, including my toothbrush, uh, involves technology. So it's not necessarily a question of whether you invest or don't invest in technology. You pretty much are no matter what you're investing in. It's what kind of technology and what kind of companies you're invested in that will really make a world of difference as you build your wealth over time.